Yeah, decide. <laughs> they have so many things going on at once, I don't quite remember them all. <laughs> well, the Bible's not a source, and nothing else can be a source. I mean, we have to... We have to be honest here. If you're going to say you can't use one thing, well then, I could say the same thing to you. Well, whatever. <laughs> X-E-L-D-A, cave. Let's do it. Uh, Yeah, it's bugged. It doesn't. Now that half the day is over, we can go back out here and try it again. I know these are extreme hills, but for some reason the caves were crap. There's got to be a big system under there somewhere that I can harvest my diamonds. But the only reason I want to find one here is because I also might be able to get my hands on some of them emeralds. <laughs> oh my. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, there's one. Let me kill this cow first. Nice. I think that was a double. Yep. That was a full drop. Sweet. Uh, is this anything? Uh, maybe. It's hard to tell with these sometimes, especially with all the gravel cave-ins. No, this is nothing. Alright. Up we go. There's that floating island. How epic is that? Almost touching the ground, but not quite. We found our first live-streamed floater. That's a nice chunk of rock there for a floating island. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> I think there's some other caves. They might. I don't know, it's hard to tell sometimes, but that's very possible that they can actually do three at once. No, this wasn't a cave at all. Well, let me tell you what happened, James. I had ads on my website a while back, and Google has this thing that I can only speculate as conspiracy because I don't have any real proof. It's just the way that they do things. This is what it seems like. It would appear that Google Incorporated gives out... Uh, oh, nice cows. Gives out pretty much anybody. There was an Enderman over there, too, but I can't get him. Pretty much anybody the ability to have ads on their web page. Uh, problem is, is that more floating islands? It is. Well, the problem is that unless you're making a ton of money, Google will disable your account and you'll never be allowed to have ads through AdSense again. Because uh, that's what happened to me. You know, the day the day that I was supposed to get the check is the day they disabled my website and that was after it had been online for three months but only until I had made enough money to be paid so the only way I was able to get ads at all for anything is through YouTube and YouTube wouldn't partner with me they told me that I couldn't have a partner because of the nature of my content but Machinima they're the ones that, that do that sort of thing so they're allowed to have partners out there that are making games because it explicitly says in the terms you cannot have gameplay footage as a YouTube partner. Now people still do it because they can't catch everybody and they're not going to shut down the people making them tons of money. But somebody like me, no, they said no way. It's not happening. Because I wouldn't be able to make them much. See, so right there it would appear that the only reason that they allow certain things and disallow others is for money. And that's greed. And greed is, is terrible but again that's just speculation because I can't actually prove it they've designed it that way them Google geeks are some sneaky bastards let me tell you they know how to mess with people's minds play mind games on them and the sad part is most people don't even know it's happening but they're being watched and brainwashed all at the same time it's really sad times we live in People are, it's not that people are losing freedoms, it's that they don't know they're being robbed of their freedoms because it's being done in silence. 
holding strong at 15 viewers, and this is not this is not working. I'm gonna have to go back to my base and try that other cave. <clears throat> Having AdSense is one thing. Starting to collect revenue off of ads is another. Now, your site, if it gets the kind of hits that you're telling me it does and that I've seen, you might not have a problem because, you know, they'd be able to make some cash off of you. But for somebody like me that uh, didn't make a whole lot, no, they just said the heck with it and disabled me. Well, the reason I, I speculated as a conspiracy is because I started reading up and a lot of people had the same thing happen and swore that they were being messed with by Google. That Google was, was just not going to put up with that. They only wanted rich people. Well, see, becoming a big YouTuber requires other things. All I'm concerned about is making enough to supplement my income so that I can do that as a living. Because I have other stuff I do that can make money, but I want to stay on YouTube because I need viewers. Because I'm going to be a game designer, and all the people that knew me beforehand are going to be first in line to both play and purchase my games. It really is sad, too, because... There's another business out there called uh, Linkshare, I think it is, and they they don't care how long you have your account, but the thing is, is you don't actually get any money unless someone actually buys the thing from the ad that they clicked on, and you get a commission. So if people click your ads, it doesn't count for squat. At least in Google AdSense, the clicks count for some some compensation but you know the the rules for click activity are so vague and twisted that they could pretty much shut you off for any reason they want or just they they pretty much shut shut it down and blame you and say stuff like your ads are too close to your buttons or you were clicking your own ads to generate revenue or you were using an auto clicker it doesn't matter if it's true or not <clears throat> They can just say it. All right. So we got nighttime here. I'm eating this raw food. I'm not sure why I have cooked food. Plenty of it. I'll put the raw foods back in there. I never did boil these in the furnace, though. We'll put these away. There we are. So the idea here is no emerald. We're just going diamond hunting. And I know where there's a cave not too far from here that I'm going to check out now. <clears throat> yes, Stanley, I do believe in liter literal interpretation. But just remember that literal um, doesn't necessarily mean that absolutely every word is to be taken in the literal sense. The Bible, like any written word, uses all kinds of, of things like similes and analogies, and here it is, the cave, and stuff like that. You know, when, when the Bible talks about the sun rising, it's not wrong because we know that the sun rotates around, or the earth rotates around the sun, and therefore it's not that the sun is moving, it's that the earth is moving. But if the Bible can say that, any other book can say that, and it's not wrong. It's just a figure of speech. So that's the kind of stuff that I'm talking about when I say, yes, it's literal, but if you take absolutely every word, darn it, my button keeps getting stuck. <clears throat> exactly. So that's duh, another dead end. So that's what that's all about. And some people like to use word games and say, well, if you have, if you take it literally, that means what the oh, that was an ad. It means absolutely everything it says has to be literally true like that. And 